Today I'm going to be showing you how to install a keyless coated lock. The only thing that you need for this installation is a Phillips screwdriver and a regular screwdriver. You're going to begin by taking off the old deadbolt lock. It's recommended that you install a reinforcement plate, but I'm pretty confident that this will be enough. Before you install, you're going to want to note that on the back there is a programming code and two user codes. Those are the exact same as on the back of the instruction book. Now we're going to install the bolt. Make sure that the top part is up. Check that the deadbolt works by putting the screwdriver into the slot and turning it 90 degrees. Now we're going to install the touch screen. So take the wire, put it underneath and through the knob, and then put this rod into that slot. Now on the other side of the door you're going to install the plate. Make sure this part goes in and that you have the top facing the top. First bring the wire through there, line it up, and then take the two screws of this length. Carefully hold on to the keypad and get those started with your fingers and then use a screwdriver to finish them. Before putting in the batteries, you're going to install the alarm assembly. So you can take the top part of this off and then plug in the wire, then run it through the channel. Now rotate this cylinder so that it will match up with this as you put it on. Now the medium screw goes here and the very tiny screw goes up here. Next remove the battery pack and put in the batteries. Put the pack back in and put the cover back on top. On the back of the user's guide is a programming code and two user codes. I'm going to show them to you because I can delete them later. On the lock, press the start button, then one of your user codes. From the inside, you can now lock the deadbolt this way. And from the outside, you can lock it by pressing this button. To unlock it, press start and then your code. Now I'm going to show you how to do some of the programming of the lock. For every programming step you're going to need your six digit programming code. First we're going to turn on the auto lock so the door will automatically lock after 30 seconds. Type in the programming code, then press number 9. To disable that, type in the programming code, then number 9. To get the lock to go back in, just type in your four digit code again. To add a new user code, type in your programming code, then press number one, then your new code. Then type in the code one more time. Now your new user code has been set. Just to test it out, we'll try it. And it works. To delete that code, type in your programming code, then number two, then type in your code that you want to delete. Type it one more time. Now that code has been deleted. And if I try, it will deny me access. Now to delete all your user codes, type in your programming code, press the number six, then type in your programming code again. Now all the other codes are invalid. And finally, to change the programming code, I'm going to type in the current one. Press number 3. And now type in a new one. And type it in one more time. Now I have a new programming code. And to turn on the alarm, hold down the button until the light blinks. And to turn it back off, hold down the button until the light blinks again.